Welcome back to Sci-Fic Adventures, where we explore the hidden corners of Earth that feel like they belong in another world. Let me ask you this. What if one small invader could dismantle the engine of modern agriculture one wing beat at a time? Thanks for being here. If you're fascinated by the quiet wars of nature and the monsters hiding in plain sight, hit like and let's dive in. It began quietly, just one body, lifeless and overlooked, found in the chill of a Washington winter. A hornet, unlike any known to the region, massive, orange, armoured. But it wasn't alone. Reports soon followed, blurry sightings, shredded hives, and a sound no one could place, like rotors from a machine that wasn't supposed to be there. The forests of the Pacific Northwest had been breached. This wasn't an accidental tourist, this was Vespa Mandarinia, the largest hornet in the world, and it had a purpose. Late summer is its season of war. During this time, the hornet doesn't just hunt, it invades. After scouting a hive, a single hornet marks it with pheromones, signaling its sisters. What follows is organized destruction. In coordinated raids, they decapitate bee after bee, leaving only a twitching field of bodies. The queen and larvae are hauled away to nourish the next generation of killers. For European honeybees, central to pollinating over 90 different US crops, there is no strategy, no instinct to survive. Each hive lost is more than just bees. It's lost food, lost farmers, and lost billions. Let's see what you remember from the opening salvo. What marked the hornet's first confirmed presence in the US? A. A beekeeper was stung during a honey harvest. B. A drone caught footage near Mount Rainier. C. A dead hornet was discovered in winter. D. A mass hive attack was filmed in Oregon. Answer C. What do murder hornets do during a coordinated hive attack? A. Inject venom into the queen. B. Capture bees to enslave. C. Decapitate bees and raid larvae. D. Seal the hive to starve it. Answer C. Autumn 2019, Vancouver Island. A beekeeper checks her hives before dawn. What she finds is silence, not quiet, absence. Wings torn, wax ripped open, not a single bee alive. That night she hears it, tapping outside her shed. Nothing visible, just that faint echo, rhythmic and wrong. The next day her second hive is gone too. Locals began to whisper, the hornets came, but no one saw them arrive, no one ever does. The sound they make is unforgettable low, vibrating, almost electric. If you hear it, you're already too late. If you're into this story and want to support more deep dives into the eerie and unexplained, check out the Sci-Fic Adventures merch store. Our gear won't stop a hornet sting, but you'll look sharp running from the scene. In the thick forests of Yamaguchi, Japan, one man stands guard over his bees, he wears a grey waterproof jacket that clings to him like second skin. His gloves are stiff with use. In one hand, a homemade trap. In the other, a tennis racket. A blur streaks past his visor. Then another. He waits, heart hammering. The hornet hovers, judging. It lunges. With a swift arc, the racket snaps midair. The hornet falls, twitching. This isn't a hobby. It's defense against extinction. Every day is a battle. Every sting, a warning. Check your recall. The hornets are fast. Don't fall behind. What eerie detail did a beekeeper report after her hives were wiped out? A. Shadows moving across the fields. B. Tapping outside her shed at night. C. Burnt wax smell in the air. D. Drone sounds above the forest. Answer B. What unusual method is used by Japanese beekeepers to defend against hornets? A. Poison-tipped arrows. B. Sonic repellent devices. C. Tennis rackets, D, fire traps, answer C. The Asian honeybee doesn't flee, it fights. When a hornet breaches their hive, they swarm it. 400 bees forming a living orb. Their bodies vibrate in unison, raising the temperature to a lethal 46 degrees Celsius. Carbon dioxide builds inside the ball. The hornet suffocates and cooks. The bees survive. This defense evolved over centuries of war. But European honeybees brought to America for agriculture never knew this enemy. Their instincts failed to evolve. Against Vespa mandarinia, they stand wide-eyed and helpless. 
The greatest danger may lie underground. Murder hornets build their nests in hidden chambers, beneath tree roots, under brush, inside compost piles, invisible until it's too late. Specialists use heat sensors and bait traps following scouts back to their origin. It's a race. Once spring arrives, each queen that survives the winter can build a new colony, doubling the threat. One missed nest becomes hundreds. This is not just a fight above ground. It's a war of patience and precision, played out beneath our feet. Honeybee colonies in the US are already staggering. Parasites like varroa mites bleed them out slowly. Viruses deform their wings. Pesticides lace their food. Every winter since 2012, up to 45% of hives have been lost. Now, murder hornets add another layer of destruction. But there's a worse predator, still unseen in North America, the trochilolaps mite. In Asia, it devastates hives from within. It's small, fast, and nearly unstoppable. Experts fear that if it arrives, it won't be a matter of defense. It'll be a matter of survival. The murder hornet isn't evil. It's a result of evolution. Adapted to win, trained to kill. But in the wrong place, even balance becomes chaos. So here's the real question. When nature sends a warning wrapped in wings and venom, will we listen or wait for silence to fall? Thanks for watching Sci-Fic Adventures. If you want more cinematic journeys into the darker corners of science and survival, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and tap the bell. And if you'd like to support future episodes, check out our merch store. Until next time, stay alert, stay alive, stay curious.